Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you the 14i notes on sampling with and without replacement. Okay, so at the end of this, you should be able to say I can find the probabilities of compound events with and without replacement. All right, so a couple examples here. First one is example 16 from page 477. Pete the Pirate has a treasure chest with three gold bones, two silver bones, and one bronze bone. Find the probability of drawing two different types of bones if two bones are drawn from the chest. Okay, um, so we're going to figure that out both with replacement and without replacement. Okay, so with replacement means you're going to take, you're going to pick one of the bones out, um, figure out what it is, and then you put that bone back in, and then you mix them up and you pick another one out. Without replacement is you take the bone out, set it aside, and then reach in and get a separate bone. Okay, so let's um, draw a little picture of the uh, pirate chest, shall we? Shall we? So let's see. Here is our pirate chest. Yes, me and my beautiful artistic abilities. All right, so here we go. Here's the pirate chest, right? Isn't that beautiful? The correct answer is yes, of course it is. So let's see, we have three golds. So let's do gold, gold, gold. Um, two silver, S, S, and then one bronze. Okay, so find the probability of drawing two different types of bones if two bones are drawn from the chest. So we got to come up with basically all the different possibilities of, you know, combinations of two different bones. So we have, let's go with gold and silver, and then we also have gold and bronze. And then we have silver and bronze. All right. And then we also actually have the um, exact same if you draw it the other way around. So we could also do silver and gold, bronze and gold, and then bronze and then silver. Okay. So we basically got to figure out what that is for all of those. The good news is, is that gold and then silver and then silver and then gold has the exact same probability and so do those and so do those so basically we just figure out the first first set here and then double it and then we're in business okay so let's figure that out gold and then silver so the probability of reaching in with replacement getting a gold first one is what's that three out of six so that reduces down to one half and then again it's with replacement so you stick it back in and then silver is two out of six, which reduces down to one third. So that's a probability of gold and silver. And then we've got gold and bronze. So again, probability of getting gold is one half. Probability of getting bronze is one sixth. And then let's add silver and bronze. And again, silver is one third from earlier. And then bronze is one sixth. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we just want to figure this all out, and then we want to double it at the end because again, it could be gold and then silver, or silver and then gold, and those are two different um, equally likely outcomes. Okay. So we're just going to double our answer here. So we're going to end up with two times. Let's see. That's one. One times one is one. Two times three is six. And then we have 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 6 is 12, and 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 6 is 18. All right, so we got 1 6 plus 1 12th plus 1 18th. Let's um, bust out our calculator here and figure that out. Okay, so let's do this 1 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by 12 plus 1 divided by 18 will give us um, this decimal here, 0 0.305, so 30.5%. But remember, we got to double it. So we're going to take our whole answer, and we got to double it. And we get 0 0.61111. So that equals 61.1%. OK, so that's what would happen if it's with replacement. Without replacement. Um, it's the same combinations up here, 
but now these probabilities are going to change a little bit because you're not going to put those back in. So um, we're going to do the same idea as what we did here. So if you take a gold, probability of getting a gold bone out on the first one is one half. But now you're not putting that, you're setting that gold bone aside. So now one of those gold bones is gone. So now the silver, there's two silver and there's only five left. So now it's instead of multiplying by one third, now it's two fifths. Or we should say instead of two six, now it's two fifths because again, there's one of those gold uh, bones is sitting on the side. All right. So the next one again, gold bone first, one half times a bronze bone. Again, there's one out of five instead of one out of six. Okay. And then silver is, let's see, that's two out of six. So that's one third. And then bronze. And again, one of those silvers is out. So there's one bronze and only five bones left. Okay. So now we just figure out what, calculate what this is. So that is what? Two tenths, which is, let's reduce that down to one fifth. And then we have one half times one fifth, which is one tenth. And then plus one third times one fifth is one fifteenth. Okay, so let's add, well, let's multiply those together. Well, add them together, excuse me. So one divided by five plus one divided by 10 plus one divided by 15 gives us 36.6 percent and again we gotta we gotta double that and we get 73.3 percent all right all right um, let's see let's take a little short video break here uh, brought to you by the original anchor man here we go 60% of the time it works every time that doesn't make sense I love carpet I love desk Rick are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them I love the lamp do you really love the lamp or are you just saying it because you saw it I love lamp I love All right, good. Next one's coming out soon, huh? Okay, let's do one more example, and we'll call it good. Okay, this is example 17 from page 479. Uh, a container has five strawberries and three baby tortoises. Two objects are randomly selected from the container. What's the probability that at least one of them is a strawberry? Okay, so again, we've got to come up with all the different possibilities um, of getting at least one strawberry right so five strawberries three tortoises so again it may or may not help to just kind of look at it as let's see one two three four five strawberries one two three tortoises okay two objects are randomly selected from the container so if you're taking two objects it's it's really like you're taking an object out and setting it aside and then taking a second object out and setting that one aside too so it's it's really it's without replacement so <clears throat> let's see the way we could do that is we could select say a strawberry and then a tortoise we could also select a tortoise and then a strawberry and we could also select a strawberry and a strawberry alright so we just have to figure out what the um, probability of those are and then add them all together and this one, it doesn't actually work to flip it around because strawberry, tortoise, and then you flip that around and it's tortoise, strawberry. So we already counted that. So we don't need to double this one like we did on the last one. All right. So probability of getting a strawberry is what? Five eighths. And then a tortoise, again, with that strawberry already set aside is three sevenths. Right. And then probability of a tortoise is three eights and then a strawberry is there's five strawberries and only seven things left in there okay and then we also add the probability of getting two strawberries so the first strawberry is five eighths and again one of those strawberries is is gone and so now there's four 
strawberries left and seven total items left. So we just need to figure out what this is here. So that is 15, let's see, eight times seven is 56, right? And then plus 15, 56, plus, whoa, 20, 56. So that's what, 30, 40, 50 over 56, which simplifies, let's see, they're both even, so we can divide those both by two, and we get 20, oops, not 20, but 25, over 28. And that's a reduced fraction, so you could do that, or we could actually turn that into a percent, and so we do 25 divided by 28, and we get 89.3 percent. All right, so either one of those answers would work. Okay, you should now be able to say that I can find the probabilities of compound events with and without replacement. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask. Thanks.